Hi. <laughs> so, Miss Tamara Ware, am I saying your name correctly? You are, Tamara. Okay, because mm -hmm. I know that a lot of people have different pronunciations, and I am one Me to make too. sure I'm accurate. So, Tamara Ware, um, you are going to give us some great insight today about the Unity Fest 2020 that's happening yes. through UJAM, World of Dance. Um, and I can just kind of set you up real quick with, with some of the details, and then you can just expand upon them. But it's happening Sounds June great. 27th. Mm -hmm. um, through August 8th. It is online. Yes. Um, so just you can just be in the comfort of your own home and sweat it yeah. out. <laughs> but tell us if are you teaching? Who's teaching? Who's on the schedule? What can people expect? Yeah. So first of all, for some people who've never heard of this, I know a lot of people have heard of World of Dance, right? The mm -hmm. NBC TV show with um, Neo and JLo and Derek Huff. So World of Dance is an organization that is partnered with UJAM Fitness. UJAM Fitness mm -hmm. was a creation of Susie C and Maddie Marks about 10 years ago. They created this dance fitness format that was really unique. It was world beats with a hip hop flavor, mm -hmm. old school jams, focused on the U, uniting mm -hmm. people together in peace, love, yeah. unity, and acceptance. That is our, our motto and our vision. The cool yeah. thing is World of Dance came and partnered with us last year and they did something that the, has never been done before. They are taking the world of dance choreographer and influencers like Phil Wright and mm -hmm. uh, CJ Salvador. Uh, we have a cool lineup. Them, Nicole, um, I'm make sure I'm getting your name. names. Like, yeah. Josh, Nicole Kirkland, Josh Kalaki, mm -hmm. uh, Bailey Soak. She's mm -hmm. on uh, the current uh, episode season. of right. season. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so these influencers are um, creating dances and choreography from world of dance has their own music producing uh uh company mm -hmm. so they produce our own music mm -hmm. we give the music to our influencers they create some amazing choreography and then mm -hmm. Susie c marks our co-founder and creative director takes that choreography and she makes it accessible to you and mm -hmm. i so we mm -hmm. certify people as instructors we teach this in our classes and our students get to actually dance feel mm -hmm. right choreography CJ yeah. Salinger. They get to dance these, but at a level that is easy for them to accept. Yeah. So what we're doing is we have a six week virtual, think of it as like, um, it's a dance convention, but we've, we're pushing it out to six weeks. So it's more like a intensive. Think of it yeah. as an intensive. It's for instructors. It's for students. It is for the main public, anybody who just wants to get the opportunity to, uh, we have over 36 every single night during the week, we have dance parties. They start at 5.30, mm -hmm. they're live, okay? They're mm -hmm. live, okay, there's, look at me, I'm trying to act like there's a tree. I'm in Nashville, okay. by the way, so this is fitting. This is country, I'm in the Nashville. Hey, <laughs> we are right live. Here. That is what people I want this and they're this where I'm at. So. <laughs> Um, so when you join this uh, Unity Fest, um, every night we have live dance parties. Mm -hmm. Every single weekend we have over six master classes. Okay, mm -hmm. so we are going to have um, Nicole Kirkland. We have um, uh, Josh Kal Kalaki. Uh, mm -hmm. Different uh, instructors that are going to be coming and presenting actually choreography, just mm -hmm. for you to learn in your own home. Right. Which I think is cool because there's a lot of people that do not have access to this. They don't have the money to pay mm -hmm. for one master class, let alone six. Right. So it exactly. is really, really cool. Yeah. Exactly. And then we also have uh, exclusive choreography, which usually comes when you go to a fitness uh, convention. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the option. Maddie uh, Marks, DJ Macayo, who happens to be Susie's husband. He is a very famous and amazing DJ. So every Friday, he's bringing us the, the music, the beats, interviews. Mm -hmm. We have a fashion show. And we also have education models. This just isn't about dancing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some. I'm going to be teaching this Sunday, which actually can speak to anybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. This um, Sunday, I'm going to be teaching on Embracing You with a capital mm -hmm. U. Mm -hmm. And all the changes that we've had, you know, especially this year, it's been very difficult for so many people. So yeah. what does it mean to redefine your vision, your purpose? Mm -hmm. As dancers and fitness people, our world has been turned upside down. We've all lost mm -hmm. our jobs. We've lost our, our way, some of mm -hmm. us. So we're really hoping that these six weeks of Unity Fest, it's a way to network with others, even though we're in our own homes. But it's also a way um, to just kind of rediscover yourself. 
Yeah. Um, we also go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, so how do you, how have you adjusted to teaching online versus in person? Like, what do you feel like when you're going to get into Ooh. this unity fest? Like, how are you reconnecting with people in an online space? You know, first, I think you had to recognize, you know, as a dancer, choreographer, everything has to be 3D. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought, this is impossible. You can't correct and motivate people. Um, I have my cameras on and I'm staring at a wall. Go, girl. Go, girl. And my, <laughs> my kids right? are teasing me. My husband, he's like, who are you? There's no one there, you know. But when but you the world recognize... Is there. The world is there. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When you recognize now, this is exciting. People who have never had access to gyms, mm -hmm. to dance studios, like I said before, um, you know, I was raised as uh, I'm, I'm Latina and um, Black American, Native American, and I just happened to grow up in a place in a space where I could never go to dance classes. We just couldn't afford it. Yeah. You know, and I'm thinking of that too. Thinking about the people who now can have access to this nationwide, worldwide. Some mm -hmm. people are too embarrassed and too scared to go to MDC, you know, to go dance somewhere. And all these um, five year olds who, okay, I went to MDC Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> there were five year olds kicking my butt. I was, they're phenomenal. They're yeah. amazing, right? Yeah. So, um, but I'll do anything. So, cause I love dance. Yeah. yeah. But, um, the difference now is that I, I, as a trainer, I'm a, a master trainer for world of dance. Mm -hmm. We have, we're going virtual with all mm -hmm. of our trainings, uh, teaching online. I have to learn how to project to the camera. Right. And grab that energy from people. It's mm -hmm. actually a lot harder to dance to a camera with yeah. no energy of human beings in the room so it's stretching me I feel I feel like I'm mm -hmm. a better instructor I'm a better performer for it now. yeah I actually yeah. am embracing it well so and how when you're talking to, to students because I almost feel like the engagement might be a little better online because people want to do it right uh, when you're yes. in class in person you kind of you can you can fade to the back you know, you don't have to be in the groups at, at the end and, and perform. But mm -hmm. when you're online, you're kind of like, well, I, I need to see that move. Can you, you know, and, and people are chatting with you and saying, can you do that again from this side? Or can you do, you yes. know, do you feel like the engagement's higher when you're teaching online? I do. I feel like, um, I love the one-on-one -on -one comments, the options of chatting. Because like you said, you can't mm -hmm. always speak up. Yeah. Uh, being able to review things from different angles. Um, the challenge as an, inst an instructor and dancer is how can you emit your energy through a screen? And when people respond back and they're like, oh my gosh, you made me want to dance. You mm -hmm. made me want to move. I can't wait to take a class. That's the best feeling in the world because you know that you're communicating with your words and your body language, what people need to see and hear. Exactly. So it's well, so great. What are some of the things, and, and I'm just going to jump right back to what you're doing this coming yes. week, because it is super, super exciting to see so many people engaged and saying, one, it's called Unity Fest. And right now, right. there's so much going on in the world, pandemic, curfew, quarantine, uprising. I feel like there's so much unity that has to kind of bring us together. And dance is a great venue for that or vehicle right. for that. Um, so when you're, you know, when you're looking at the online space and saying, okay, like, I'm just going to set aside this time. Is it self-paced? Is it like, I have to be there right on time? Or, you know, just to give somebody who's about to register, you know, more of an mm -hmm. idea of what they need to do. Great. So when you register, you can go to our worldofdancefitness.com. Mm -hmm. uh, also, if you know an instructor, we can give you some great promos. But when you go on, we do have a daily schedule. You can mm -hmm. do all the classes live, but they will also be recorded. So, of okay. course, a lot of people have gone back to work, and they're not able to do the classes at the same time. So mm -hmm. you can go back into your um, registration page and your mm -hmm. app. We have a World of Dance app, oh, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's free. <laughs> it's free. World of Dance app. Get on there. Get onto yeah. the community. Um, and we'll be you know, sharing our schedule there. So there is an opportunity for everybody to um, – be able to take part on the weekends it will be a zoom feed so mm -hmm. i like zoom because you get to see people mm -hmm. and interact with people mm -hmm. uh in our education modules we will break out into breakout sessions 
So we mm -hmm. will break out into smaller groups where we have, you know, experienced instructors who are able to share their knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, people who have never done this before can ask questions. And so there's a little bit of something for everybody. So, so we're going to start. Up, at, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I, I forgot <laughs> to say we're, we're launching it. It's launching this Saturday. This Saturday we're launching. We have a house party with Susie C and Matt Marks. And uh, make sure you look at our website for the times of that launch. We're going to just do a fun house party. We are just dancing and going crazy first thing in the morning. Uh, and we have education models and we have um, some master classes and education models on uh, Sunday. I love that it's called house party because we are literally in the house. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, right. And it is, you know, it's it brings a for me real back. house party. Exactly. I feel like I'm dating myself because I remember when house party parties were a thing, right? So, yes. <laughs> so bringing it back yes. is kind of like full circle for me we're just to see. bringing it back. Yes, yes, indeed. So, um, yes. you know, I think that there's so much to be gained for an online student. So what's kind of some of the tips that you can give somebody who's learning online maybe for the first time or has mm -hmm. always just gone to a dance studio and, and kind of yeah, shied away from being an online student, you know, until yes. now? What can they right. do to just kind of like say, I'm going to jump right in and take it, you know, take these classes, what can they do to prepare for it or just kind of ment you know, mentally prepare to be mm -hmm. learning online instead of in person? Right. You want to make sure you have a space. Okay. You don't have to have your own studio at home. Make sure you've cleared away a space. Um, prepare your body, you know, mm -hmm. make sure you nourish your body. I'm also a personal trainer. You want to get some protein, some fluids, give yourself permission to make mistakes. Right. And it's kind of the best, like nobody's watching you, right? You're just, you're in your room. If you go to the left, when I go to the right, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Don't um, overthink the process and overthink things. Have fun. Have mm -hmm. fun. Um, I'm getting together with a couple gals that we feel we are safe to be together. We've been hanging out together and yeah. we'll la like dance in a pair of two people, mm -hmm. you know, in my room. That's like another idea is like bring a friend along, you know, and have someone dance with you. But, you know, as a student, um, this is a way also for you to not take from one person, mm -hmm. but you are going to have over 30, we have over 20 trained education team coaches and trainers that are presenting. I think it's important for us as dancers to see a different style, mm -hmm. right? We need to learn from people's body, how they move, you know, and we follow mm -hmm. maybe certain uh, trainers and certain choreographers, but this way we're going to get an opportunity like you'll never get to get before mm -hmm. to learn from other dancers and, and choreographers and really see how their body moves yeah. and take, take, what, take what you can from that. Yeah, and I did see a, a little preview that there are stretch moments, stretch classes and things of that nature, so it's mm -hmm. not just like, hey, hit it hard and, and we don't care about you. <laughs> like, right, you know, we'll be You bringing... are giving, you know, the, the, the mm -hmm. participants some way to nourish themselves and be prepared, you know, with the, Correct. Um, the stretching, the cool down, all of that stuff. So um, foam rolling, foam rolling foam is rolling, important. Exactly. I wanted to add, you know, as a dancer, um, I started my fitness journey. Uh, we are pro, cheer, we're cheer sisters. I danced for the Golden <laughs> State Warriors. Oh, did you? I did. Oh. Yeah, don't ask me what year, girl. Don't ask Wait me. Wait a second. It was do a long know? time ago. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, no, I did, you, I'm do sorry. You, there were two. Hear, um, a country bus go by right now. <laughs> This is live. So, hey. Hey. You got to do our thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, so, I was a Laker no, girl. So, I am, I am, yes, we are, we are cheer yes. sisters. Yes. We are cheer sisters. The reason I brought that up was um, my dance career, I was going to be a professional dancer and, you know, mm -hmm. things work out differently and I mm -hmm. got an opportunity to do some things like that, but I had to cross train. Yeah. So, I want to speak to the professional dancers right now. Cross training is so important. So you've learned that mastery in your mind, right? To learn choreography quickly. Do you have a stamina and endurance to do a show, to pick up that choreography, to last, you know, so dance fitness has a place mm -hmm. for dancers, for endurance, agility, strength. Mm -hmm. We're moving, we're moving. You don't sit and do the same movement eight times, right? Yeah. You don't learn a yeah. phrase and then build, and then build. There are some formats like that, but our format is, here's a move, we're gonna do it four times. 
Here's a move. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it eight times. We're going to do level one, low impact, level two, high impact. You are going to build an amazing, awesome cardio, this, you know, vascular strength, especially yeah. after three months, I call it the quarantine, three months <laughs> of quarantine. Where I'm so sorry. I'm in the country. Are we Hi. reclaiming my, reclaiming my quarantine? <laughs> quarantine, yes. Um, yeah, some of us kind of had a diet. I was on a diet for three months of bread, cheese, and olives. Okay. So good. Okay. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> <It was> amazing. <laughs> but I, I encourage dancers to take this opportunity for your endurance and cardiovascular fitness. So mm -hmm. as your studios are opening up, you're just going to be ready to hit the floor and kill yeah. it. Well, everyone can go. I'm just going to, because I know you've got a lot going on, and I hope I wish all the best to your son taking his test. Um, and, and just want to invite everyone to visit the World of Dance Fitness.com website. Um, also, mm -hmm. you can find all the information. I think there's actually a sub uh, URL. I think it's Unite um, dot World of Dance Fitness.com. World of Dance sure. Fitness, yes. And, well, and our yeah. app as well. You can go ahead mm -hmm. and download the free World of Dance app. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I'm just Googling, right? UD, yes. You jam. Yes. And that yeah. gives you the schedule, gives you all the information that you can need and want from there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then I'm going to post some stuff on, on mine as well. So if you want to visit my, um, Instagram at Sandra Colton uh -huh. DC, and then also you have stuff on yours at where Tamara, uh, Correct. on Instagram as well. So if you want to visit her and check out her yeah. classes, she's got a lot going on as well beyond just the unity fest, um, for you right. and others. Um, mm -hmm. And I really appreciate you taking the time. And Sandra, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate what you do for our community. I appreciate that you give us a voice. Um, I think you brought, uh, I, was, I was in your other uh, virtual conference and oh, I was just glued. I was glued to, it was so great just to hear perspectives, you know, mm -hmm. and, and people with their victories and their struggles. And so thank mm -hmm. you so much for giving us a voice and no giving problem. us an opportunity to share. So you're amazing. No worries. Well, thank you. You are too. I wish everybody yeah. out there, you know, the best in their health. I hear your chirping birds. Yes. Yes. They are singing to for the us. country. You're going <laughs> to laugh. So I'm a city girl. I'm from San Jose and lived yes. in Oakland, California. And then Lord knows why we moved out here to Tennessee. And I was like, my first week there, there was a tornado. Uh -huh. There was a family of possums living in my garage. Yeah. Okay. And foxes. I was like, what? Who that? Like, yeah. So, but I'm a country girl now, so we got it. Well, I feel like we have more in common because I used to live in Millbrae, which is, you know, yes. close to yes. SFO and all of that. So I'm sure we That's have a lot funny. of catching up to do on, on yes. another occasion. All right. Thank you for your time, love. <laughs> Bye. Peace, love, unity, guys.